How are you feeling going into the black tie affair? Well, a lot of us were kind of like, we were joking, but we're like, you know, it almost felt like you were unavailable last night. Um, and that's not something that you can change or do if that's, you know, where you're at. But, um, you know, I'm also not giving up. I'm really trying to find time to deepen my connection with Robert. It's getting more and more difficult to not pay attention to everyone else's relationship with Robert. But this is my love story. Everything else is fluff. We know. I mean, Eric is going through a lot, and I just don't want him to think I'm not hearing him. But, you know, I do like you. And I think that we just haven't had that, that many interactions. And when I, and we do... Yeah, but I also... I'm gonna put this on you. I see you pull people away nonstop, and it's never me. Well, maybe it's the, I want you to come to me, you want me to come to you, whatever that is, that whole macho gay thing. <laughs> but just know that I'm receptive and open to you, you know, grabbing me, whatever. Bring it on. Likewise. Okay, <laughs> I hear you. I think in any relationship, the key is communication, and Brandon can verbalize his feelings so eloquently, and he's really stepped up to the plate, and I appreciate that from him. So. Come on. I was just looking at your eyes. Come here. Brandon is a, a very good kisser. He knows how to kiss. Good kisser. Don't be sorry.